What's going on guys, RealTalkGML here, back with another Game Maker tutorial, and I'm actually pretty surprised that I haven't actually made a tutorial for this yet, but this is going to be split-screen two-player games. And let's let's get that out of there. Okay, so as you can see, we have our player here, and I, those brown things are just for, just to see that we are moving, and then the WSD controls the other player. And it's a split-screen. And as you can see, it says player one and player two, and you don't actually see that on the player two screen, which uh, we'll show you how to do as well. All right, so, all right, so a lot of this is going to be happening in our actual room here. So what I've done is I went ahead and made player one, and I just gave him movement script along with player two using the WASD keys and made the crate and then the draw function or object that we will be getting into after this but in our room here you can place the two players anywhere in the room that you'd like I just place them right there and you're gonna go into the view tabs okay and you're gonna enable the use of views and check visible when room starts now you're gonna get this box on your screen here and what you want to do is you want to mess with the view in room and port on screen so object following I'm just gonna say the player one and for the view in room I'm gonna say 320 alright so as you can see that shrinks down the box and I'm saying 320 because our actual room size is 640 by 480 those are our dimensions for our window that we have so now what I'm gonna say is the width I'm gonna say 320 as well for the port on screen and then for our H bore, I'm gonna say 320, and our V bore is 480. And I do 320 because that's the width, and then 480 because that's the height. So that means whenever you, whenever the player one moves, the screen is also gonna move with it. So now to get another player into here, we're gonna go to view one, check visible when room starts, and as you can see, it creates another box here. But that's just kind of an illusion because it actually is this full box. If we took away this as you can see it's still a full box so in view one what we're gonna say is view in room 320 or no I'm sorry 640 640 but on the x-axis we're gonna say 320 no yeah this would be 322 alright so the width is gonna be 320 but we want the X to start on 320 okay and then the port on screen we're gonna do the same thing 320 and 320 object following our player there and we'll do 320 by 480 so now if we played the game as you can see it does work and the split screen works but as th there's not like a little black separator so it looks kinda weird so in order to fix that what you can do is go into the view 0 and in the view in room or I'm sorry the port on screen do 319 and that will give it a one pixel gap where you can see a black bar separator there so that is very useful now I'm gonna go on to show you guys how to display something on one view that doesn't get seen on the other view so what I do is I just made a separate object called draw and I just put it in there and in the draw tab I all you say is if view current equals equals zero you can do whatever you'd like so you can say if view current equals zero, this means we're working with view number zero. All I did was draw text. So you can draw health bars, you can do anything. So yeah, and then for if you want to do view underscore x view and stuff like that, you have to put zero and then one or two or three or whatever view you're working with. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, go ahead and lay down in the comments and I will take a look and reply. All right, so I will see you guys next time. Let's try and get this up to 15 likes. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> I will see you guys next time. Peace. Hot, hot, hot.